Okay, my name is Monty Henry, owner of DPL Surveillance Equipment, and you are? I'm Carolyn, co-owner of DPL Surveillance Equipment. And today's topic is going to focus on, um, what is the topic for today? Cyber thieves have a new target, children. Okay, um, before we start the topic, we just want to let you know that we are co-owners of DPL Surveillance Equipment. We're a full-service surveillance and security equipment company. And what are some of the distinguishing things that separate our company from the competition? We have lifetime guarantees and warranties, and we're open 24-7, 365. And we have the biggest inventory of surveillance items that you can find. Okay, uh, let's see. Can you guys... Shoot, I forgot I didn't what? have the, um, the headset in. Can you guys hear us okay? Can anybody hear us okay? Can anybody say anything about the audio? I have my headset in. I want to keep, I want to take them out if possible. Can anybody chime in on the audio? Sometimes you wonder whether or not Blab has actually real, real people or not. <laughs> Okay. Um, Anybody? Uh, one, two, three, four. I see four people are listening. Okay, we're trying to determine you know, whether or not the audio is okay. You'll hear us all right. Um, let me see. Who are some of these people? Um, Jeremiah. Jeremiah. Um, Can you hear us or not? Who is this? Uh, who knows what that is? Um, Harazo, um, AJ, AJ, no Nori, one's... can anybody leave a comment to let us know whether or not the audio is okay? Okay, that's okay. I guess it's all right then. Well, I've got he headsets and um, the audio is okay. Can you hear Carolyn? Um, can you hear me? Can also? you hear Carolyn? Carol, can you hear Carolyn as well? We can hear you well. We can hear you. Does that mean both of us? Can you hear both of us? We can hear you well. Who's you, me or Carolyn? Or both. Or both. All okay. is well. Okay, All right. good. Thank Thanks. You. Really appreciate it. Like pulling teeth or sometimes. <laughs> okay, anyway, this blab has to do with, as you can tell, cyber thieves target children for identity theft. And um, we happen to own or co-own uh, DPL Surveillance Equipment, Full Service Surveillance and Security Equipment Company. And um, we offer lifetime guarantees and warranties on all the products. We got 24-7, 365 tech, sales, and customer support. Perhaps the largest inventory of items that not only you can, can you rent, but you can buy as well. And lay away. And lay away. What else we have? Uh, gift cards. And gift cards. Okay? Yes. I'm just going to put a mention of our company uh, over there. Uh, let me see. I think that's it um, for the company. Yeah. Anyway, that's some information about the company. What else were some unique attributes about our company, Carolyn? Uh, let me see. I think we, we already said lifetime guarantee and warranty open 24-7. We have rent, uh, rent to own. You want to rent something and then you love it and you want to buy it, you can do that. Okay. So, um, but this blab has to do not so much about, about our company, but we, we do concentrate on uh, security and surveillance, anything security related, like this top, this topic here uh, re revolving around um, uh, cyber thieves targeting children. That, that has to do with security, right? Oh, yes. So, Definitely. anyway, if your children have... Um, Credit cards, or, or, or even if they don't have credit cards, this is a potential problem. Okay, this is what we're up against, you guys. Cyber thieves are starting to understand and realize that um, you can steal the social security numbers of children, and um, because it'll be probably 18 or 19 years before they actually try to get their first car or something, right? Yeah, they don't have to have credit, just have to have the social security number, personal information. Right. So um, they don't make any purchases. They don't get the apartments and the houses or the cars at, until they're really, you know, uh, a considerable they, number yeah. of years after. Right. Way down the line when they're 
20, 22, 23, 24. Exactly. So what happens is their credit is used, their identity rather is stolen and used uh, long before anybody notices, right? Yeah. So you wouldn't, if you're old enough, you want to get your own place. They reject your credit because it's all screwed up already. It's already been compromised. Okay, and um, so what we have to realize is that when the um, when the cyber thieves make up, sometimes they even make up social security numbers. So what happens is um, they could get a hold of social security numbers or make up social security numbers and start to uh, submit them to do you know to buy things and 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 such and. Um, so long before your child is even issued a social security number, there could be liabilities and purchases and such associated with those social security numbers. Mm -hmm. Never, No one ever thinks about this though, but it does happen. So you guys may want to consider uh, going to Experian, going to um, uh, the TransUnion, going to some of the credit reporting agencies to try and figure out um, whether or not there's a problem, right? You can check your child's social security number and see if it has been compromised. And um, from what I understand, there are minimal uh, charges or fees associated with um, uh, checking the child's credit. What are some of the other issues that we need to bring up uh, regarding cyber thieves taking their children's credit and, and identity? Uh, let me see. They target children because they already have a clean slate and it's easier to use. So they build on that and use it for as long as they can until that person whose identity has been stolen, they find out. And one person said it took them years for them to clean their, uh, to clean their credit. For some reason. Okay. Um, it can, does anybody have any experience or any knowledge about um, cyber thieves taking maybe your children or someone you know children's um, uh, identity and using it? Or, or is this something totally new to you guys? Or any opinion on this topic at all before we go, you know, too much further in depth into it? Can anybody relate to this topic at all? Anyway, if you if you could think of anything, you can come on in and, and talk about it. I, I don't think the seat is locked. I think the seat is open. Um, but anyway, there's why you guys think about it. There's three uh, credit report a reporting agencies for you guys who don't know too much about the credit reporting agencies. There's Experian, there's Equifax, and TransUnion. Okay, if you have children, you may want to contact them. Some of the things that you want to be aware of also is when your children start to receive uh, solicita solicitations or, 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 or mail, mailers, mail pieces, uh, offering them incentives or something to increase their lines of credit or, or maybe there's some rewards or some loyalty yeah, points or very, something. very odd. Yeah, that, sh that should come across as very odd to you. And these credit card agencies, they don't track figures on child identity theft. No, this is such a new area. Oh, go ahead. No, I'm, I'm done. Yeah, there's a, 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 an agency called the Identity Theft Resource Center, okay? The Identity Theft Resource Center uh, says it received 298 calls related to child identity theft in 2015 alone. That's a, that's a lot. It may okay. not sound like a lot, but it is. So this, there's not, I don't, I think the problem is, see, there's not a whole lot of uh, government and or private companies that, that are looking into how bad this is, okay? Uh, it seems like 5.4% of the cases uh, it heard um, were, were actually report, uh, reported uh, at that time uh, out of the 298 uh calls that were related to uh, identity theft in 2015 alone, okay? Um, so uh, I, I think that one of the major problems, you guys, is that, you know, this is a long-term um, planning effort 
And this also says that the children can have legitimate credit records if the parents add them to a credit card. So I don't know if that's such a good idea anyway. They should, I think, uh, build their own credit. Okay, so if you guys are trying to, if you think you're doing your children a favor and, and getting a credit card and putting them on the credit card, you may want to consider. Uh, big no-no. Yeah, all, well, you have to think about all those, the consequences of giving these children um, credit at, at such an early age, okay? Um, because I see a, there's been a lot of data, uh, data breaches. There was a major data breach, data breach um, where, where there were 6.5 million of its child users were exposed in a data breach, okay? This was a company called VTech Holdings Limited. Okay, this was not long ago where um, the, uh, the data breach exposed, um, what is that? Uh, 6.5 million, million. Wow, uh, that's records. A that's a high right. number. You don't need that. And that's, okay, that's, that's worldwide. And, and there was 2.9 million were US children. So the balance, the roughly, what is that, uh, four, at least four million, um, three, um, the th three, six, three million uh, at least were outside the United States. So this is a major problem, not only inside the United States, but outside as well. So you, may got, you guys may want to take into consideration that, um, you know, if you live in other countries, this is not something that um, it's just a U.S.-based problem. This is actually a worldwide, a worldwide problem. So looks like there's some major education that needs to take place in regards to children uh, being, being taken advantage of, okay? And uh, there, here are some ways that you may want to think about as far as- um, Warning signs? Warning signs. What are some of the warning signs uh, that you want to highlight? Um, a teenager, may be denied a driver's license because one already exists of his uh, bad credit. Other warnings may come in the form of mail sent to the children, which he already, and solicitations to loyalty programs, which normally children do not join. So that's a warning signal. Okay, and also so if you hear that there's a data breach that has happened, um, particularly involving uh, children, um, the parents should initiate free credit monitoring. Uh, typically, these companies always offer free credit monitoring services. And you probably should immediately go out and, and, and I call the company or respond to the mailers and let the companies yeah, know, yeah, go ahead and initiate the free credit reporting for the child and you review it yourself in a timely manner and consistent manner to make sure that you're aware of everything that's on that report and if you don't recognize it, of course, you can test it. But if you, if you do recognize it, then, um, you know, you have, you, 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 uh, th then you're, you're fine. Okay. And what you really should do, if you do find that there's already a report in the child's name, request a copy. Okay. So uh, you can uh -huh. request a copy in the mail. They also have online forms where parents can submit child identity um, inquiries. Okay, so that's at least once a year that you interact with the credit reporting agencies to make absolutely sure whether or not there's a problem, okay? Um, in most cases, children only have credit reports when they've been added to a parent's credit card as an authorized user. So if parents find that there's already a report in their child's name, they should request a copy, okay? That's not, that's not, that's a red flag, okay? Uh, children don't go out and open up credit by themselves, no, no. so either they're going to be on your your report um, or, or, or or your account, or, or they're not they're not going to have any account at all until you until you open up one and put them on it. <laughs> so make sure that you understand. Children don't normally come with credit um, uh, accounts open in their name already. Um, so anyway, you you request a copy if you find that there's a credit report already open. Or okay. Call TransUnion, call Experian, call um, uh, 
Equifax and find out what is it, how did this child all of a sudden get credit open their name? Um, TransUnion, for instance, also has an online form where parents can submit child identity theft inquiries. Yeah, that's the easy, probably the easiest and quickest way. So yeah, if any, um, <coughs> excuse me, any credit reporting agency or company has online forms or allow you to interact online, then you immediately go there and um, uh, request a report or fill out the form at least. And then there's, um, you also keep in mind that freezing credit is an option, okay? Yeah, freeze the report. Freeze the report. No way nobody can then get access to that. Okay, if, you're, if your child, so if someone somehow opens up a report in their name, you have every right as a parent to freeze that report. Mm -hmm. So that way when, um, when the when they, uh, cyber thieves try to buy the car or the house or whatever they're trying to buy it and, uh, under that child's credit, uh, this will this will bar them from getting access to that child's credit. And that is the best way to block the possibility that a swindler could misuse a child's credit. Okay, so this is regarded as a proactive solution uh, uh, by, by Equifax, for instance, um, freezing that um, a credit freeze. Okay, it blocks the possibility, as Carolyn stated, that a swindler can mis misuse the child's credit. Um, and then there's, um, you know, certain politicians, Representative Jim uh, Langevin, a, a Rhode Island Democrat, is sponsoring a particular bill. Um, child's social security number will still be clean and therefore very attractive to these, okay? And so, so he wants, he wants, um, um, you put a lot of weight behind the idea of, of freezing the report as well. Okay. And the bill has been introduced in Congress to allow parents to, in any state, to freeze their children's credit file, which I think is a good idea. I think it's your right. You should have be able to access that. One of the consequences of one particular individual um, says her, when she finally grew up um, and, and, and wanted to take advantage of using her own credit, Mm -hmm. uh, she said it took her eight years to repair the damage yes. to her credit. Wow, eight years. Hmm. Her first credit card was canceled, and when she got a new one, it had a $300 limit huh. already wow. on it and a 29.9% uh, interest rate, okay? And wow. she was also forced to pay 18.23% for a car loan. So, you know, those are outrageous terms, and that's a very big surprise, you know, when you finally get a chance to... Um, to use your own credit to find out that you're paying a maximum interest rate and, and, and a lot of money um, for the privilege of using what's supposed to be a, a new, uh, um, uh, you know, your first time user of your own account, your own mm. credit. And you're already screwed. Right. And you haven't even, you know, gotten anywhere. So uh, this is an area, again, where we're just trying to highlight and we're just doing this basically for the playback and getting, getting this on record. And to educate um, you guys. And to educate you guys. It, this is like, wow, I never thought about this. So remember, you know, I hear a lot of blabs talk about protecting children online from bullying and all of that. Mm -hmm. But this has to do with something that no one talks about, not even on blab. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay. This is has this has to do with identity theft itself. Okay, forget about all the little apps that you know you turn on, you turn off to keep the bullies and the and the limit the conversation on the social media websites. This goes way beyond that. This is a topic that nobody talks about, and very few agencies or companies are chiming in on. Okay, so we're going to get the word out. Our company, me and Carolyn, and our company DPL Surveillance Equipment is officially going on record stating that. Children's credit, children's identity is being compromised. And cyber thieves, again, have up to 18 or 19 years before anyone notices the wow, difference. So you guys got to wake up and understand that, you know, your children are the targets, not you, <laughs> not the boss, not, not the business, but the children. Because, again, you have a decade or two before anyone is going to have any idea that that credit has been utilized. So... Um, 
we're going to conclude this particular session. And if anybody has any questions, uh, you can go ahead and chime in or jump in or whatever. I know we're not talking about some crazy subject as beer pong and Super Bowl and all of that, but I'm not really into that. Um, I, I think I, I consider it a waste of time in child's play. Yeah, we're we're here for serious. Right, we're a little bit subjects. more serious. So, yeah. yeah, there's plenty of other blabs that cater to that type of uh, mindset and immaturity. Yeah. Our blabs are going to be a little bit more serious, and we're going to go on record just stating that we are going to be educating. We're going to be discussing the issues that no one wants to talk about. And that's what we're going to be doing uh, going forward. So um, that's what me and Carolyn are all about in addition to our company. I so, appreciate you viewing. Okay. We appreciate you viewing. We're going to close this blab out. And uh, we appreciate you guys. You guys, will you join these blabs? And like we always say, invite a friend, a relative, an enemy, enemy. a <laughs> partner, anybody. Just bring it. Bring somebody back with you and share it and pass along the information. Okay. You guys have a great day. Thanks. Thank you. Take Good care. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.